What's up, what's up, my guys? Uh, I feel so embarrassed. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm just now, um, you know, realizing that uh, my videos had no sound. And <clears throat> so... All these videos I didn't drop previously, uh, I'm, you know, pretty sure, you, you know, you guys don't even, can't even read my, what, what I'm saying, my lips, what I'm saying, or put it on the closed caption because there's no sound to it at all. Uh, I fixed it, you know, we, we had a little bit of technical, uh, issues, uh, but it's all it's all covered now. Um, wow, I'm just I just feel like a big idiot. I'm so embarrassed that I just man <laughs> that hurt me. <clears throat> that really hurt me. It hurt me. It hit me hard. Uh, but yeah, this this is the credit corp. You know, I am Toke. I'm doing a review. Uh, on Secret Invasion, episode, uh, episode three, fucking, it, um, man, that shit just hurt me, that shit hurt me, I can't believe that shit, but, uh, let's get to it, though, yeah, so we got, uh, we got graphic, um, still, you know, uh, Putting in everybody's ear, you know, how there's going to be, uh, you know, a super scroll. And the power is going to be even, 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 even more immaculate than what they, what they can do now type of deal. Um, so that's, that's still up in the words type of deal. Um, they showed, you know, uh, fairy. <clears throat> they went back, you know, a little bit. They always do a little flashback, I feel like, in, uh, in the beginning of these past few episodes. Uh, like a little, go back, go back to, like, when Theory was young, young. Um, this one was, like, in the, uh, what was it, late 90s, 1998. <clears throat> Show them, uh, meeting, uh, what was her name, Celia? Or, uh, yeah, Celia, fucking, or Vera, whatever he, you want to call her. She's a fucking stroll, though. She's a fucking stroll. Uh, that, that threw me the fuck off. Like, what the fuck, Vera, you out here? You out here making love with the fucking strolls? Like, I know they was, you know, your right hands, but damn, how, how much right hands were they to you? Uh-huh. Um... But yeah, so <clears throat> they showed that a little glim glimpse of that. Um, Gravitch starting to you know question Gaia's uh, loyalty, and you know he pretty he pretty much knows what's up because he fucking ends up you know they show him having a meeting with Talos, and he's pretty much threatening Talos with. You know, uh, how long he's kept Gaia alive, and she should be sent. You know how she, sh how he should have sent her to him in a body bag type of deal, like you know. And he's just like pretty much on tip, and you know, telling her, telling him to tell, <clears throat> telling him to, you know, pretty much. Get her name out of his mouth, and you know, talk to some some sense into him about the whole war he's trying to create. And he's just he's not he's not listening. He's all for the the coonery, the straight up bull that he's uh he's got up in the works. He's he's dead set on that. So <coughs> fucking um. Theory, you know, he gets a hint, he gets the dime, uh, he gets a little scoop in on, uh, the 
that's you know that's move for the for as far as graphic with his little uh henchman strolls that he's got you know pawns uh you know how he got pawns everywhere type of deal and uh this one was uh gonna you know launch an attack on the UN delegation uh and they're like in control of Neptune and whatnot and uh they're like in the in the command of Neptune so all he had to do was you know look up <clears throat> the commander of it pretty much and he got that actually name off of Sonya so like I said man Sonya's like pretty much the British theory and he knew who to call as that's you know that's her that's her stomp grounds pretty much like she that's her territory so he's he's just a guest in it so he need he needed some assistance he also went and got uh Talos back and uh back in his good graces and helped him uh got him got him to help him got Talos to help him uh figure out where this dude was uh Commodore the dude name was Commodore Robert uh was it Fairbanks uh that's where they had to figure out you know where he was located you know and pretty much infantry his whole little spot and call off the attack and you know <clears throat> Obviously, the scroll that was uh in place of him of, of Commodore, you know, wasn't he wasn't planning he wasn't he had no intentions on giving him giving up the code or anything to call it off and shit. So they had uh they had, they they pretty much ended up having to murk him, and Talos called his uh daughter, <clears throat> got more you know, got more deets on it. So again, she he's putting her fucking he's putting her life in danger every single time he calls and like gets try to get some you know information like if that's your daughter man you you he you you claim you want to protect her or some shit like that but you just keep keep deepen deepening the the you know the states of her life with these you know. Help me with this, help me with that type of deal. And it's he's sloppy, he's sloppy. Talos is sloppy. Like I said, he's he's soft. He's not he's not the stroll he's not the the he's not the stroll that the, he used to be at least. I would say that. But uh Yeah. Long story short, guy got uh got got her, you know, got her shit blew in. She got shot by a uh, grab it as she was trying to escape because Talos wanted to, like, you know, leave and shit like that. Get the hell out of there. Like, he's on to you and, <clears throat> you know, like, this, this is the final straw. He's going to kill you. It was too late, though. She got shot. She got killed. It was over. Talos probably about to lose a nut next episode once he finds that out. Um... Let's talk about Celia, though. She fucking... She's like sus as hell. She got that, uh... She got that weird phone call. That phone call she got in the beginning of the episode even was weird, too. When she was, like, being in the street while the fairy was there. Talking about, you know, uh, I... That information is, you know, available at this time. Or some shit like that. Like, What? Mm-mm. And then the fairy questioned her. He questioned her loyalty too. A lot of loyalty got questioned in this shit. So, but yeah, he questioned her loyalty too. And uh, yeah, like I don't know. She's she's like I said, she's a little sus. Uh, she got that, and she got you know, like I said, she got the phone call at the end of the episode, and like. Rushed on to a train and boarded and boarded like a board, like she a board, so boarded out of there. Like, and uh, 
you know, ends up in his room. <clears throat> I guess like where they have all the uh, luggage and belongings, and, like safe lockers and type of shit like that on the train. I don't know, but uh, the dude, you know, hands her this, uh, well, he shows her this box. She opens it. It's a gun. I'm guessing they want. They're probably gonna want her to kill Fury. Nine times out of ten, nine times out of ten, um, keep it a beam with you. Yeah, they're they're trying they're they're trying to set up uh to where she she yeah, she got to choose either her herself or Fairy. And you know. Fairy left them, left the strolls and didn't keep his promise and you know, he, he pretty much chose himself over them, so I can you know, I can see it happening honestly. Her making that decision to merge him off. But the dude on the phone, she after she got opened the box and seen the gun, uh, she got another phone call, and it was just a random dude saying, you know, meet at this church, demanding her to meet at this church, you know, and within the next hour type of deal, and she's like, off rip, I want to speak to Gravit. So that 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 instantly told me, you know, where her where her loyalty stands, and what's probably going to be the outcome of this, or might be the outcome of, you know, Fury's demise, but who knows? He, he might he might either get murked by her or become a scroll or is a scroll. I don't even know, but we got three more episodes, so we'll see. We'll see. Um like I again like I said again, I'm I'm I fucking greatly apologize for the, you know, the technical uh, issues, and I promise it won't happen again, guys. Uh, thank you, thank you for for people that fucking gave me even the time and day of views and support on those ones that didn't have volume. But uh, yeah, I'm here. We're here to stay. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it rolling. I ain't letting that shit set me back. Um. You know, like and subscribe, support the motherfucking court, leave some comments, let me know what you guys think about this episode, um, and I shall see you, uh, the following week, so, toodles.